howdy y'all i'm zoe <laughs> welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you my little art studio it's right here behind me my art studio is in my bedroom it's the only space that i have right now so i'm just making it work and i previously did not have any dedicated space for my art supplies to be i just recently got this easel behind me for Christmas <laughs> and that kind of inspired me to create like a space dedicated to my art supplies that I can just like have my art set up and have my art supplies always ready to go. Hopefully this will inspire you, maybe help you uh, kind of like figure out how you want to set up your own art supplies in your small space to just get into it. <laughs> my art nook. I'm going to go through and show you each of the components. Uh, the first component is my beautiful easel. It's pretty tall. It has this cool little um, tray, I suppose, um, that you can put things on. You could take it on or off if you wanted. You can also adjust the height. You can adjust the height of the whole easel. I'm gonna actually take that away so I can get into everything else to show it to you easier. So I moved the easel away and you can get a much better look at like the storage that I've got going on here. I actually trash picked this whole little corner shelf, I think from a neighbor, so that was pretty, pretty clutch. On the top, I just have some decorations, got a little dancing sculpture, <laughs> my diploma, uh, speaker, a glass jar that has some leaves in it that are like sentimental and then these beautiful peacock feathers that were once my mom's. Moving on to the first shelf down then I have all of my electronics, my computer, my keyboard, headphones, Polaroid camera, wallet, mouse. These are external hard drives, got some cords in here. This actually, this little jar used to be a candle. I just melted the wax out of it, cleaned it up and took all the labels off and now it it can hold my things. I have a lot of this around actually. Pretty cool. Good way to like upcycle. Moving on down, we have my first shelf of real art supplies here. Um, these are like some of my most used supplies, so I wanted them most accessible. I have <laughs> Mod Podge, which I use all the time. These are some newer paints that I've got. They're um, slow drying acrylics, which are like pretty cool. This one is, I think, just regular drying, but this one is iridescent gold. It's like one of my favorite paints. I love painting things gold. <laughs> um, behind them, we have two um, sketchbooks. This is my favorite size, my favorite type to use. I'll show you. The Canson for watercolor because it just holds up really well. Um, this one is the seven by 10 inch, so it's like a little bit smaller than paper size, which I like. I got two of them because one's almost filled up. Behind them, I just have my watercolors. This palette is like one of my favorites ever. I think I just got it from somewhere like Amazon or something, but I really like that it has so many colors. It just, it brings inspiration. And in addition to that, I have this silver gold metallic watercolor paint. This I think is also from Amazon, but I really like using these. It, they actually show up really well. Moving on down to the next shelf over here, I have these also used to be candle jars, but I have some colored pens in here, some different tips. These guys are much skinnier, and the other ones are more like brush pens. So just got some markers in this one. In the other one, this also used to be a candle. Um, these are these cool colored pencils that are like, they're like almost like little logs, or like little sticks, but they have their colored pencils on the inside, which are just super cool. Super just like aesthetic. I don't really, get, really feel like I've used them much because I'm not sure how I would sharpen them because I don't really have a very sharp knife, but those are fun. And then behind them, I have my little box. This, I got this box. Uh, when I was in school, when I was taking an art class. It's got like a ton of compartments. This top thing opens up, 
holds my like graphite um, and charcoal supplies, all my charcoal supplies. Like I said, this was for a drawing class, so kind of just kept all that stuff in there. Um, all of here, this is all of my like nice pe drawing pencils. I have some vine charcoal, some more little sticks of charcoal, um, a couple pens, another eraser pencil, and then I can take this out. And in here, I've got oil pastels, chalk pastels, uh, colored pencils, and then some colored Sharpie markers. These are kind of like all drawing supplies, you know. <laughs> Lock that on up. Moving on down to the next shelf. This over here, I don't use very much, but this is just an assortment of pens and pencils. And some markers and stuff, but. The next bin here just holds my acrylic paints. These actually are not acrylic. I just threw these in there yesterday. These are water mixable oil color paints. I have one, two, four. I actually like forgot that I bought these for myself a long time ago. And so just found them the other day and stuck them in with these other paints. But those are, these are like nice ones. I'm excited I forgot that I had those. Um, in the rest of this box is some miscellaneous stuff. I have some big tubes of acrylic paint. Just got these from Michael's, pretty cheap dish towel for drying stuff. I have my glitter and my sparkles, which I freaking love using. And I got some like spongy boys. These are actually like postcards um, that you can paint. I don't didn't really have another place for those. And then these are all just like small tubes of paint. I think these are all just from like Michael's brand. And then down on the very bottom, judgment of books all pressing um, flowers or leaves or different things like that. So I just keep them there. Moving on, we've got this little wire shelf that I actually found in my attic, I think. And it only has three shelves. The first one holds, this is just something I was working on last night, but I guess it holds wet paintings. <laughs> Then my palette, and then other palettes. This is literally just cardboard um, that I use as a palette. This is a real wooden palette. And then some more cardboard underneath of that. Just, ooh, it's a backup, Whoa. So going on to the next shelf. These are all my small canvases. Some of them in the middle are blank. Um, the ones on the ends over here are pre, like, I have started them but I didn't really feel like they're finished or I don't really like them so I'll probably add more to them. This one is also painted. This is like that gold paint that I was telling you about. Got some watercolor pads and usually I have these. These are canvas pads. Usually I have those down there but I've got something I'm working on up here. Then on this very bottom shelf I have this little bin that I actually keep non-art stuff in. This is all just like personal documents. I keep it next to my desk so it's close and on hand, but it's also kind of tucked away out of the way. Then moving on to this final area of my art station. Um, the first part I have actually a whole bunch of canvases back here. So I've got this really, really big one. <laughs> this is like the biggest canvas I've ever worked on. Um, I bought it on a whim and I just was like, I want to do something big. Um, isn't finished, but is back there, living right there for now. Then I also have these other canvases. I think I got this one for free. I probably got these in a pack. Um, a lot of these are started. Some of them are finished. Some of them are from a long time ago. Some of them are still blank. I've got some more canvases over here on the side. Most of these are started, but that I would like to paint on more. On the top here, I have some miscellaneous collage supplies. These are ones that I was like thinking about using the other day. This is a wonderful bin that I got for my birthday. Really great for art storage. Top comes off in this top part. I have some pressed flowers that I wanna, you know, do stuff with. I have some washi tape and some regular tape. These are more supplies that I would like to uh, collage with or put somewhere and then I've just got these random like shiny leaf things 
some little mirrors. These I bought on a whim, I think at AC Moore when it was closing. So then you can take this top off. And in the bottom I have, these are actually old birthday cards from like probably a long time. Um, tons of old birthday cards that I feel like I would like to do something with. In here, oh, more birthday cards. <laughs> These are actually super cool. All of these are photos that my uncle trash picked, but they're like really cool. They're probably from like the 70s or something, but I'm like really into them and I just really want to do something cool with them. I'm not sure what yet, but like some of these are super, super cool. Then over here, I've got old prints that I actually made that I would also like to do something with. And finally over here, I've got all my collage materials, all like already pre-cut pieces um got some magazines over here that i can always cut from so lots and lots of like collage supplies in this bin that pretty much wraps up the tour of my little art corner i do have one other space that i keep art supplies in and i'll show you that in a moment we're moving from my art nook over in the corner of my room here to my art chest over here. Um, this little gal contains all of my other art supplies. Here behind it, I've got bunches of pieces of cardboard um, as well as a very large, um, uh, this is a big, uh, basically a big clipboard for doing art on. And I've got some large pieces of paper on there. I've got this janky little thing on here because I don't have anything else to hold it up with. We've got a command hook back here that I can match this up onto. This is literally just a hair tie. Ta da! Holds it open. And <laughs> this is my art chest. On this side, um, I've got two different notebooks. This is another Canson one, a, another just like sketchbook, also by Canson. Both of these were from art classes as well. This bin over here has a lot of um, old art that I've made myself. These are all things I've made. This is a color watercolor book. These are like stickers I made at one point sticker sheets, these are, this is photo paper, these are like some Christmas cards and all blank envelopes, more blank envelopes, a blank sketch pad, um, a blank like frame, um, and then I have a bunch of colored paper, lots and lots of colored paper, probably from my RA days, uh, some lettered head paper, some lined paper, and then some more sketchbook paper. So. Lots of paper supplies, finished art, art that could be st made still. <laughs> Moving over here on the top, I have some quite miscellaneous things. Um, I think this is just a box. I then I have some <laughs> Mylar balloons from my birthday last year that I saved that I feel like I want to do something with. These are also just like random things that are probably basically trash, but I feel like I could do something cool with. Um, I have a bunch of notebooks here. Like these are all just like blank notebooks. I've got a can of yellow spray paint for some reason. A can of hairspray. I've got parchment paper for pressing leaves and flowers. These are like old paints that I had from when I was like an RA, but they're pretty shitty. Um, they're from like Amazon, I think, but there's still some paint in there, so I keep them. And then underneath here, this bin is filled with my um, embroidering <laughs> supplies that I got off of Amazon over the summer when I felt like I needed a new project, even though I definitely did not. Um, and my jewelry making supplies, which are kind of random. I don't really make jewelry, but these things are here in case I ever want to. <laughs> and then moving on over, um, I actually have some cleaning supplies just because I didn't really have anywhere else to put them. And then in this little corner, I have some other miscellaneous supplies. These are empty candle jars that I've cleaned out that I can use for, you know, whatever, but I just haven't used yet. 
a loofah would be an interesting like paintbrush or like something to paint with or even who knows put some tape and then some other just miscellaneous supplies like this had candy in it at one point but it was just empty some other like little boxes and a power bank a little glass some paper clips just some random things in there those are all the supplies that I have in my art chest and in my little art corner. That wraps up my art studio tour. I hope this was helpful if you're also looking to reorganize your art supplies and create a little studio space for yourself. Leave a comment down below of which art supplies you were most interested in using or how this was helpful, what your art studio looks like, and maybe any tips that you have for organizing your art in a small space. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want, go ahead and subscribe. I will be posting new videos every Sunday. So I'm going to do some art now and I'll see you next Sunday. Peace out.